Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So actually I've just recorded this video and then realized that my phone was not recording, so I'm doing this again. So today I want to walk you through all of my plein air setup. So this is all the stuff that you can see here. Um, so this setup has been evolving. This is what I take. This is, I don't take everything every time I go out, but this is what I can take when I want to go outside for sketching or for doing watercolors. This setup has been um, kind of improving throughout the years. So I started only with a journal like this one. Actually, those are still the journals I use. This is the first one. I'm doing my third one now. Uh, so first I only used like this journal and a small plastic watercolor palette from Windsor & Newton, Coatman. I will link it in the description. Uh, and then I kind of improved. I used um, a clip to Take, to, to bring my things together, then I tried to use a tripod and etc. etc. And this is what I'm using now. So this here is a Stablo easel. So you can use it just like that, or you can put it with this here. Let me show you. So this is like a standard. Um, this thing like easy removing stuff from the from the easel so you kind of glue this onto this piece it comes together and then you have something like this here that you put here like so and then you can put this on your tripod so you can either use it like that when you're at a table or you're just sitting and if you want to be standing you can put this on an, um, a tripod. So this is the tripod I'm using. It's kind of a heavy one. Um, it's a Photo Pro tripod. It's very convenient because it can go very high. Before that I had a, a smaller tripod but it could only go up to one meter something and so I was really crunched forward when I was trying to draw and it was not really comfortable. But anyway, so now I'm using the Photo Pro and it's really nice. There is a blog post that I've done a few months ago where you can see all of this supply and you can see photos and you can see how I'm using it and you can see the exact reference of the different things I'm talking about. So go check that out if you're interested to know more. And also if you want to at some point see me use this, um, these supplies outside, just let me know. For now I'm only uh, doing some desk videos. But if you'd like to see me try some plein air videos, just let me know. Oops, sorry. Just let me know. I'd love to try that, even if uh, for now I only have my phone for filming, so it can be hard to, to do so, but anyway. So this is my actual um, sketchbook. So it's still a low watercolor sketchbook. Those are some stickers I've made myself. And so this is how it looks like. You can see some, some scans also of my of my sketchbook on my blog and I also post from time to time on Instagram when I'm sketching outside so you can check that out. It has a nice back pocket and in this back pocket I have these two things. So those are the gouache I'm using and it's kind of mix, mix and chart. So here are the colors on the diagonal and then when I'm mixing them, this is pure and this is with white to see the variety I can get. And those are the watercolors. And I've tried different mixes. So here uh, on the column, the major color is the one here. And on the line, the major color is the color I'm mixing with. So it helps me to see the variety of colors I can get from my watercolors and my gouache. And I also have this thing here with all my watercolors. It's just a basic swatch thing and the colors here and the different opacity and power of different colors. So these I keep in the back pockets of my sketchbook at all time. It can be really convenient. And then it goes like so. You take it like that and you use the back cover. So you have to have a hard cover sketchbook and you put it like like so and it's just it just stands like that and so you open at the page you want to paint on then I usually use this elastic band to keep this here 
and on the other side I'm using just a basic clip that I have here to clip this page when it's windy and make sure it doesn't go somewhere. So this is what it looks like and this part here is magnetic so I can just hop, put my watercolors here. So this is my gouache, dry gouache palette. This is what it looks like. And those are linel gouache. I will also put it in the description. And they dry them. When they dry, they really dry. They become really crackled and stuff. So you have to put a lot of water and to let it sit for a long time before you can use it. And I also have this here. Um, so yeah, so this is my dry gouache and this here are my watercolors. So this is my watercolor palette that I use all the time when I'm sketching outside. As you can see, it's pretty messy. And I can put them both like that and just have some extra mixing space or using gouache and watercolor at the same time. So this is what it looks like. Let's me just zoom out a little bit so you can see it all. Okay, so this is what it looks like and I can just hold it like this and just paint or I can put it on my tripod, like I said. And also I have those inserts here. This one is for water. For now I use uh, a small water jar that has a lid so I can put my fresh water in it and when it's dirty water I just put the lid back on and it's supposed to be watertight and I can bring it back with me to clean it at home but actually it's not watertight so I'm searching for a new one that I can put in here and that is watertight and this one is for you can just put it like like so and it's for putting your brushes and stuff usually I don't use them that much but it's just convenient that they're here when I'm sitting somewhere, I'm using this collapsible water jar. Uh, sitting somewhere means that I can take water from a tap and, and then clean this on a tap because I don't want to put my dirty water in, the na in nature. Um, so I have a ver variety of sketching things that I take with me. This is the pouch I'm taking with me when I'm going for watercolor or sketching outside. This is just a towel that I use. Usually I will just clip it here and I can clean or I can also clip it on my on my trousers or anywhere actually, just very convenient. Those are my brushes. So this is a set, all the references of what they are will be in the, in the blog post, so you can go check that out. I've added this because otherwise the brushes kept falling apart, but this keeps take coming off so I have to th find another way. So in here I have my fresh um, white gouache. I have a white pen too and I have a variety. This is just uh, to take water and to refill some stuff or to put drops of water on my dry gouache. Uh, this is a small eraser like this and those are different brushes so flat brushes here uh, this is a filbert brush i think those are round brushes a very small flat brush a, a big i don't remember what's the name of this one but it's it takes a lot of water and you can do some really nice washes with this and another big round brush so those are travel brushes so they're really small as you can see but it's convenient when i'm using my gouache uh, but most of the time, what I'm doing when I'm outside is using what is here. So those were handmade by a friend of mine. And here I have my water brushes. And it's very convenient water brushes. I know some people don't like water brushes. I have one here too. Uh, but I find that it's really nice because you have your water already here. So I have a big round one, like so. I have a big flat one also. It's not really clear that it's flat, but it's flatter than this one. And those two are pentel brushes. And then I have this one, which is a fine round one, which I use more for details. 
And I use this both for watercolors and for gouache actually. And then when I, have, when I want to do some more dry gouache or when I have more time and I can use my water jar, I will use the small brushes. But otherwise I use those. And I also have an extra, so this is an erasable uh, Faber-Castell blue colored pencil. This is just a white gel pen. This is for uh, sketching with ink. This is just a basic pencil that I hardly ever use because I hardly ever do some sketches, even though I should probably do. And here I have some colored pencils because I really like, uh, you can see it here actually, I put some on top. I'm, I'm doing some really wet washes of watercolors and then adding details with my pencils. It works really well for me when I'm outside because I think it's an easy way of putting some details and stuff. And I have an extra fine liner here when I need it. So those are the bases. When I really want to travel light, I'm just taking these two that I put on my pouch. I'm taking my watercolor here that goes on the pouch too. I'm taking, of course, this, and I'm just taking my sketchbook and the easel, and I have a very compact pack to go somewhere. I might try at some point um, the famous, like, super compact um, Nomad Painter, or I don't remember the exact name, I will put it in the description too, that looks like really, really... It's a really compact set and you have your water jars with it, but I think you need a bottle to put the dirty water, but anyway. And I might try I might try that at some point when I have a smaller bag and I can't put this easily in. But for now, I'm really happy with this one. Uh, this is just a basic um, mat to sit on. So when I'm just using this, this without the tripod, I'm sitting on, on top of those, uh, especially when the um, the, the grass is a little bit damp or stuff, it's really nice to have this, or when it's not really comfortable, this is really convenient, and uh, it's, it's super light and it's super easy just to put, to attach to your bag, so that's a really convenient one. And what else do I have? Oh yeah, I have this and this. Those are handmade um, sketchbooks. So I use this when I want to not do watercolors, but maybe gouache or just sketching. And I'm also taking those when I'm, I'm traveling and I want to bring some stuff to do nice watercolors or nice paintings, but I can't bring all of my stuff. So like all of my stuff, not the travel ones, but the regular ones. So this is not especially for plein air, but it's more for travel. And the last thing I have, just a second, is I'm using a regular pencil case like this one, where I put a var variety of things. So last time I went, I wanted to try the watercolor pencil. So I had my watercolors pencil on, in the in here, and a bunch of water watercolor mar markers. Uh, so I just put all of this in in here, and I have it in my bag, just in case, or just to have some variety when I'm going. Um, outside. So yeah, basically those are all of my uh, plein air and travel supplies. Let me know what you use or if you want to see me use this outside or if you want to see me try some other stuff. Just let me know in the comments. I'd be very, really happy to do so. And in the meantime, just have a nice creative week and see you in my next video. Bye!